If you want to grab information from a child object or through a lookup to a parent object, you need to establish a basic relationship first. In this situation, we're going to establish a relationship to events from accounts. If we go back to our DDP and open up the field tagger, you'll notice in the main object dropdown that event is missing here. In order to see it here, our relationship needs to be established. So let's go ahead and create that relationship. Back on our DDP, we'll scroll down and click on the New Relationship button. The object field we're running from is the related by or what you have field. Since we're running from an account, we'll select that. Then we'll want to establish a relationship to the event, so we'll choose that from our drop-down menu. In the related by drop-down menu, we'll go ahead and let the DDP know this is a related list on the account. Once we do that, a few more options will appear. If you have a table inside of your document that you want to be removed when there are no records, simply click this checkbox and that table will delete itself if there are no event records. We also have the option to order the way event records come into your document. For our purposes, we'll order them by event name. There's also a checkbox to choose if you want the event names to come in descending order as opposed to the default ascending order. The filter criteria section allows you to filter which records are being pushed in based off certain criteria you set. So if we only wanted events that have the name of Ryan to come in, we would go ahead and select event name equals Ryan. Then only the events with the name of Ryan would come into the document. Let's exclude that for this example though, and then we'll go ahead and save our new relationship. Now if we navigate back to our field tagger, we see in the main object drop-down menu that event is now there. We'll select event, and as you can see, now there's the option to grab information from any of the fields in the event. In this document, we want to bring in the event names and the event dates. So we'll go ahead and grab the event name by simply dragging and dropping it into our document. Then we'll grab the event date and also drag and drop it into our document. Since we want to bring in all of the events, We'll also go ahead in this field drop-down menu and select Replicate Row. Then we'll just copy and paste this or simply drag and drop it into the beginning of the row that we want to replicate. This will replicate the table all the way down until it runs out of records. After we save this document and replace it in Salesforce, we can go back to our account record where we'll click the Run DDP button to test it. As you can see, our DDP event is located here, so we'll go ahead and run this as a download. A short download bar appears as we grab all the information and push it into the document. As you can see, both Catalina Wine Mixer and Dreamforce were pushed into here along with their respective dates. To learn more about basic relationships, visit our support site for further information.